How do I bring my fiance to the U.S.? Hello, my name is Nadine Shitta. I'm an immigration attorney based out of Houston, Texas. I wanted to share the ins and outs of bringing your fiance to the U.S. and what to expect during the process. So what do I do? How do I get my fiance visa to come? How do we get married? So this list isn't really exhaustive, but uh, each couple is unique and there's different ways to prove your relationship. And this is where you should definitely consult with an attorney to see what type of evidence works best for you and your specific relationship. Before starting this application, I would definitely ask the fiance if they've ever had any previous immigration issues with the US or if they've ever had trouble with the law in their country. And if you've ever had trouble uh, with the law in the US, some aggravated crimes or crimes related to theft, gambling, those could prevent your fiance from potentially being able to immigrate to the United States. Another thing I wanted to go over, something unique that I get asked about is uh, online relationships. So a lot of uh, things went online during COVID, including uh, dating people. And some couples just haven't been able to meet in person, so they don't have that met once in the past two years in person requirement. Um, I, there really isn't a way around this requirement. The exceptions are rarely approved, so I wouldn't really even go that route. And lastly, you have to prove your intent to marry once you're in the U.S. Because the timing is so uncertain, it's tough to hand an immigration officer, like, here's our wedding venue, here's our plans, here's our date, here's who's coming. But usually a letter of intent uh, will suffice and um, that's something that you need to discuss further with your attorney. So given the long wait times, I get asked all the time, what's faster? What's the best way to bring my fiance to the US? And the answer on that is that it really depends on a couple of things, where you are in the US and where your fiance is. Larger cities just tend to have more immigrants, so their processing centers tend to be a little bit slower. And then, the consulate where your fiance is, how busy they are at processing applications at the time. Now the new administration, the Biden administration has made it their goal to process forms I-130, which is for marriage, and I-129F for the fiance within about six months, but we'll see how that goes. Right now it's not uncommon to see people wait about um, one year for their fiance to come to the U.S. So which one is the better application? Um, that's really going to depend on how much evidence do you have? Have you guys been dating a long time? Have you gone on trips together? Have you Do you have a lot of pictures together? When do you want to have the wedding? Do you want to have it soon? Do you want to have it right away? Or is this something that you can take your time to plan? Because the fiance visa might take an entire year and that's a little bit tough to plan when you're both in different countries. Um, and lastly, this is not a trick question, but who do you want to have at the wedding? So for the bride's family or for the groom's family, for your fiancés, consider the fact that for someone who, for your fiancé abroad, their parents are going to have to get visitor visas to come to the wedding. So that's something to just keep in mind um, is travel restrictions when it comes to that as well. So what are the steps after submitting the petition? They can be different whether you, um, this is something I wanted to highlight, the contrast between fiancé and a spouse. The fiance's route is a little bit longer. You do have to submit that uh, adjustment of status packet once they're here, and that just kind of stretches the whole timeline altogether. So you might want to also consider how fast does your fiance really want that uh, permanent residency. And then after marriage and adjustment of status, timing and deadlines are everything with immigration. And with the insane backlogs that we're facing, you don't really want to miss a deadline. Uh, it could set your case back months or years. Uh, your fiancé visa does have an expiration date, and if you don't want them to be illegal at any point, and so we recommend that you file the adjustment of status package as soon as you possibly can. We love love. We're romantics. We want you and your fiancé to unite and to live together in America. The government fees are usually uh, frequently updated, but we are very transparent about our pricing. We want you to know what our process is from A to Z, and we have different options. Our initial consultation fee is only $50. If you have any questions, call or text us. We'll respond to you within 24 hours. It's been a pleasure sharing this with you. Let me know if you have any questions.